my name is Jenny and I am Head Wildlife Guide here at Passive Sea Life Safaris. Um, I first got interested in seals and um, studying zoological conservation um, at Cornwall College in the UK. You could go for a walk along the coast path and see a seal head bobbing up out of the water. Um, so they're an amazing bit of wildlife that you can see just anywhere around our doorstep here in Cornwall. We can see seals any time around Padstow Bay. We see them um, all day long, either in the water or out on the rocks. Um, high tide, they're usually in the water, um, foraging for food and things like that. Low tide, they tend to come out onto the rocks. Um, a seal doesn't have to come out onto land every single day, um, but they often, around low tide, will haul themselves up onto the rocks to rest, relax, digest their food and have a little sunbathe. We're really, really lucky around Cornwall to see seals um, pretty much all around this coastline because they are actually a globally rare species. We've got about 40% of the world's grey seal population just in UK waters, but there are less grey seals in the UK than red squirrels. So even though we see them all the time, a lot of people take for granted that seals are everywhere, but actually we're really, really lucky to have them right here in our coastline. I love the fact that seals sleep in the water. So they hold themselves in the water with their noses up in the air and sleep half of their brain at a time. So if they shut their whole brain off, they would sink and drown because they wouldn't keep their flippers moving and they wouldn't be able to stay up to the surface to breathe. So they sleep half of their brain at a time to keep half their brain active, to keep them up to the surface to, to breathe. I think that's pretty cool. I do a lot of volunteering for the British Divers Marine Life Rescue. Um, so in the winter, sort of autumn winter time, grey seals have their pups. And I get quite stuck in hands on helping out with their seal rescue and rehabilitation. Um, I also volunteer for the um, Marine Strandings Network. So if anything um, washes up on our shores, um, not alive, then we record it. Um, and it all goes into um, conservation work. Um, things like helping to protect animals from um, bycatch getting caught in a uh, fishing net. So seals are not particularly fussy, they're generally bottom feeders feeding on things like sand eels and flatfish um, but they are quite opportunistic, they'll eat just about anything they can grab a hold of. Um, anything that's a bit too big or awkward they shape them to swallow down in a winner, they'll hold in between their flippers and tear chunks off at the, up at the surface. We have often seen seals with um, flatfish wrestling with them at the surface while they try and eat them. So seals can be found all around the coast of the UK and um, we've got quite a lot of seals around Cornwall because we've got such a long coastline um, but you can find them across the Atlantic as well around North America and Canada and um, around other parts of Northern Europe. Yes, seals are mammals so they're very much like us, they have a lot of commonalities with us and they breathe air, they give birth to live young, they suckle their young but it's amazing how they adapt this to a marine environment. They will spend time on the land um, but how they adapt to living their life in the water is pretty amazing. So baby seals are called pups. Um, like I said, they only stick with their mothers for three weeks. So those first three weeks are really important to those little seal pups. They need to get every drink of milk from their mothers. It's about 60% fat, so they grow rapidly. They gain about three or four times their original birth weight just within those first three weeks. They start off all white and fluffy, and then they shed that white fur, and then their mother heads off and leaves them to it, and they've got to figure out life for their own. Um, so the seals that we see, the grey seals, they are members of the true seal family. Um, sea lions are members of the um, eared seal family. So eared seals are fur seals and uh, sea lions. So they have little shrek ears. Um, true seals um, encompass things like grey seals that we see around our coastline, common seals, another um, common UK species. Um, elephant seals, leopard seals, these are all part of the true seal family. Um, they don't have ears, they just have little holes inside of their heads and they've got much smaller flippers and um, so they'll do a bit more of a you know, caterpillar movement on the land. Seals aren't really dangerous, they can look intimidating, they are large animals, they can grow up to about 8 feet, males up to 300 kilos, sometimes even more, so they're big bulky animals and they can be quite intimidating, especially if you're in the water and you see a seal. Um, however, seals will defend themselves if they're cornered, if they're chased, and um, they may want to defend themselves, especially if they're on land and they're a bit more vulnerable. But um, generally the juveniles are a bit more curious and you have seen, uh, have seen images of divers with little curious juvenile seals coming up and nibbling on their flippers and having a little closer look. So seals are very similar to dogs. The common seal is known to be more cat-like in its appearance, whereas the grey seal is a lot more dog-like, sort of Labrador-shaped head. Um, they are related to them in that they are both mammals, um, but actually there are no um, close connections to them. So, 
I generally tell people that the, the noise of a grey seal sounds a bit like a dog doing an impression of a ghost. It sounds a little bit like this, but this might not be completely accurate. Something like that. <laughs> <laughs>